What's going on guys? Um, welcome to the video. As the title says, today we're brewing a uh, Hefeweizen and we're going to be doing it a little bit differently. going to be chucking some um, uh, bitter orange peel in there as well, just to kind of mix things up a bit. Don't do anything normal. This morning I was undecided what to brew, so I put a little poll on my Instagram. I might do that more often it was it was quite fun so i was in a rush to um weigh the grains obviously and get going because i was heating up so i wasn't sure whether to do a hefeweizen or a kolsch the votes came in 50 50 between the hefe and the kolsch i decided that's a sign grain bill for the hefeweizen is 50 percent pilsner 50 percent wheat malt so we're going for the hefe hope you're all doing well let's get the brew on So I've mashed in half, uh, just the Pilsner malt so far, got the wheat malt to go. Let's finish off the uh, the mash. So the rice holes are in, um, I think I went a bit too heavy on them, I put 200 grams in. Should have gone for about 100 I think. Making a Hefeweizen, and I haven't done it in about two years. And it's not the type of beer you want to brew in a rush or just, just to fill a keg or something like that. It, it's the type of beer that does take a long time. So like today's a beautiful sunny Sunday and um, gonna have a couple of beers in the garden as well. Kids are happy, chilled out in the house. So not in any particular rush. Biggest thing about this is in terms of time, the spad usually takes forever. And um, there's also a step mash in it. So I'm mashing in at 65 degrees, then up in that for 65 degrees for an hour then I'm upping that for 75 degrees for 15 minutes and then when you do the sparge that can take forever as well so yeah it's not the type of beer you can just well it's not the type of beer I can anyway just bang out and uh, call it a day so yeah no rush nice Sunday got some decent beers in the fridge and the beer bench is looking very inviting. Is it 12 yet? 20 past 12 on a Sunday. Sunday fun day. Almost forgot the water additions. This one is only, well for me anyway, 6 mil of lactic acid and 2 grams of calcium chloride should be. Yeah, calcium chloride. Yours will be different of course. Well, mine's two grams before the spillage anyway. Spot on. Right, careful. Success. Next job. Just look how inviting that is. Beer o'clock soon. So whilst that's mashing in, gonna weigh out the hops put the uh, sparge onto on just on put the sparge water on bought 500 grams of orange peel only gonna be putting 50 grams into this this beer not sure I'm gonna put any um, coriander in it I just want to see what what impact these have on the heffy might be a bit blue moony type of beer blue moony yeah not speaking very well today Right, let's get the hops. That can go off. This is an absolute tip. Um. <gasps> Gem has been using my freezer. What's all this stuff? That's not hops. That's not hops. Right, Halatawa, oh, right on the top, I do. Halatawa Mitifru. Probably ruined the pronunciation, apologies. So the hop additions on this is 16 grams of that um, as a first wort hop. 
and 16 grams 15 minutes before the end then five minutes before the end I'm going to chuck some orange peel and 10 minutes before the end bang into some Irish moss not very much going on in terms of hop but this beer is all about the yeast showing off so I've gone for the Hefeweizen Ale Yeast WLP300 used this before and it's a, it's a banging yeast so there we have them weighed out first wort 15 minutes to go pinch of this at 10 minutes to go and chuck this in at 5 minutes to go which smells stunning so it wouldn't be one of my normal vlogs I'll give you a general update of what we've been up to and obviously we're in this these strange times at the moment so uh, yeah here we go so as most of you would know we've had chickens now for a number of years so our hot plant that's the SARS this year I'm going to let it grow up along the chicken trellis thing and this there is Cascade and that again trying to go that way ignore all these that were given to me for free from the brewery themselves obviously and stuff to take to the dump and on the subject of chickens two days ago check this out look what happened check these beauties out we have four white leghorn chicks that we hatched ourselves right girls hopefully girls cute or what So the reason behind hatching our own obviously was it gives the kids something um, something else to focus on and myself and Gemma got really worried that day 21 towards the end of the day none of them were hatching and that's how long it should take so we were very nervous but uh, chuffed a bit to get four chicks out of six eggs. So we've just finished the mash, um, the first stage of the mash. So. We'll just ramp it up to 75 degrees now. So the mash is done and I need to lift the grain basket and put in the first wort hops. Never done that before. So could be disastrous. Let's get it on film just in case. I think I can get the hops in there. I thought I'd have to lift the basket with one hand and get the hops in, but pretty certain. Oh, look at that. No tears. Okay, seems to be draining pretty freely, probably because of all those um, rice hulls. I'll now knock the temperature up to 99 degrees. So as it's sparging, it's heating the water at the same time. Cut down on a bit of time, like, you know. So we're now done with the sparge. Close that off and shimmy it down there. Aha! Every time. Why don't I just put it a little bit higher? Give some of this to the chicks. And by chicks, I mean chickens, not the two-day-old chicks. Let's give it a stir. We're at 98 degrees. Already got our first hop addition in there. Feels like ages ago now. I suppose a first wort hop addition is a very good way to get um, get the most alpha acids out of the beer, I suppose, out of the hop. Um, imagine that's had, well, probably, probably... 45 minutes contact time already. Told you the sparge was going to be slow. Bang on the extraction. And in we go with a 15 minute edition. Bosh. 
I am working up a sweat. I've um, just managed to build the base for the new pizza oven. Got it on vlog as well. I might chuck it up. Who knows? Um, oh, knackered. Right, 10 minute edition. Some Irish moss. Boom. And then in five minutes time they got the beautiful orange peel going in. There we go. The beautiful sound of a completed brew day, excluding cleanup. That's it, we're done. Knock the heat off. I'll probably leave it for 10 minutes for everything to settle down. And then chill it and bang it in the fermenter. Start chilling it down. Maybe about there. Increase the speed. Put this into the wartometer. Great piece of kit, by the way. Say it most of my videos. Once this gets to about 23 degrees, we'll start transferring it. And there we have it, we've got about 23 litres in the fermenter, WLP300, Hefeweizen Ale Yeast, bang it in. Tap off. Oh, and now for my favourite part, the bloody cleanup. But first, a beer. Mm. Sour. Yes. Oh, on the beer bench. Sundowner on a Sunday. So this beer is Mimi Mimosa Sour, seven uh, percent. Um, I've got a clue what it says on the back. I had this from my um, uh, local homebrew shop. They're closed because of this situation, and they do deliveries. So you email them and give them a brief of what you like and how much you want to spend and they uh, took payment the following day and delivered it within an hour awesome lovely looking beer oh man that's like that is just like tropical juice tropical and orange juice it's like orange juice. It's like fizzy orange. Mm. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Oh, wow. That is stunning. So, guys, I hope you found that video useful. I'll follow up with a uh, final thoughts or tasting of the beer got quite a few videos lined up and already in the editing process thank you to everyone who have uh, joined me on instagram at homebrew griffo um, check out there for more regular updates if you like so guys i'll uh, catch you on the next one